these actually are two kinds of shells from two different seafood. This one, this one, this is oyster shell, or which we often use it to calm the liver yang, and we also use it to calm the mind. And it also has the function to relieve pain. Yeah, therefore, if there is hyperactivity of liver yang, which cause, for example, like hypertension, we can use this one, oyster shell. Or if the hyperactivity of liver yang, which cause insomnia, we also can use this one to calm the mind. So it can be used for insomnia. And if the patient who has acid registration and stomach ache, we also can use this one to stop the acid regurgitation so as to relieve pain. Besides, it also has a very good action to stop sweating. Yeah, so for spontaneous sweating or net sweating, yeah, this one, very good. And this one here, the thin one. It is the shell of sea air. I think most people like to eat them. It has the similar action as oyster shell. Both can calm the liver yang so as to treat hyperactivity of liver yang, which will cause hypertension. And this one, because it mainly goes to the liver, which opens in the eyes. Uh, we often use it to improve eyesight, whether due to liver fire flaming up or due to liver blood deficiency. We can combine it together with like goji berry. Yeah, it's very good for poor eyesight or blurred vision. This one. Have you ever seen it? Do you know this insect? Actually, this is not an insect. This is a shell of an insect, cicada, which sing the song almost all the day long in summer. Uh, well, cicada actually, they live underground for seven years or sometimes some kinds of the cicada, they will live underground for over 10 years. Well, in summer, they will climb out of the earth and climb up on the tree. And then they will come out from this shell and leave the shell on the tree. And the shell actually is also a kind of garbage to cicada. But it is very useful for our human being. We use it to disperse wind heat. And also we use it to release or ease the throat. And it also has the function of promoting eruption and dispelling the wind. Therefore, if for sore throat or uh, losing voice due to wind heat, we can use cicada. Uh, for urticaria, we also can use it to promoting eruption. Besides, um, people might be familiar, some people might be familiar with a kind of disease which is very difficult to treat, and it is Tourette syndrome, uh, which very commonly happens in boys, yeah, in the kids, especially boys. Uh, well, the patients, they might have tick or VOC. So it's um, very difficult for us to treat. But in Chinese medicine, we usually think that it is also due to kind of wind. It's a kind of internal wind. So the patient, they will have spasm. Therefore, we can use this one, a cicada shell, to stop spasm, to release the wind and then to stop spasm.